Hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is the Dirt Church Devotional. Have you given much thought to the interconnectedness of things, ideals, and whatnot that, that we want and need in our lives, and even the things that we don't want? I'm thinking about three different things that actually are more connected than we might think. Love, forgiveness, and judgment. Now, judgment is one of those things none of us wants. In fact, I think, although John 3.16 is probably the most recognized address in the Bible, perhaps the most often used passage in the Bible is this. And I hear this from Christians and non-Christians alike, people that go to church every Sunday and people that wouldn't step into a church if you paid them. <clears throat> it's this, judge not, lest you be judged, or shortened up to, don't judge. And hey, yeah, the Bible says that. Now, well, I'm not going to get into, you know, how it's misused and whatnot, but, but judgment is one of those things that we don't really want. Now let me jump back for a minute to love. Everybody wants love. We want to love and we want to be loved. We want to experience love. We want to give love. It's the way that we're created. Everybody wants love. And then there's forgiveness. Everybody needs forgiveness. At some point, we've all messed up. We've all hurt somebody. We've all frustrated somebody. We've all done something wrong. And so we need forgiveness, not only from God, but from one another. So how do these three things connect? Well, the Bible tells us that, that love, in its description in, in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, that love keeps no record of wrong. That means that love forgives, and, and we're supposed to forgive as Jesus forgave us completely with, with no record of the wrong, right? And Jesus even told a story about this uh, rich ruler that had people that owed him some money, and so he called them to account, and the first one owed him like a million dollars. And because he couldn't pay, he begged the master gave him some time and the master forgave his debt. All right, you probably heard me talk about this before. That guy went out and found another fellow servant that owed him like 10 bucks. And he starts throttling him and, and threatening to kill him. And he throws him in prison and has his wife and everybody sold and whatnot so that he could pay back this debt that, that uh, the guy owed him. When the master found out, when the king found out about it, he brought that servant back, the one that he had forgiven, and he rebuked him. He said, you wicked servant. He said, I forgave you all that debt because you asked me to, and you couldn't even extend that same kindness uh, to your fellow servant. You know what? I'm going to reinstate your debt. And Jesus said in the same way, God will treat us if we don't forgive our brother or sister or the person that offended us uh, from the heart. God will reinstate that guilt. All right, so here's, here's the deal. Love forgives. We want love. Well, we've got to forgive. We've got to be willing to forgive as well as be forgiven. When we don't forgive, we're, judge, follow me, we're judging that person that we're holding guilty. We're judging them as not being worthy of forgiveness. When we judge them as not being worthy of forgiveness, well, then we come to judge not lest you be judged because by the same standard that you judge, you'll be judged. So if we're not willing to forgive somebody, we're not holding them captive. We're holding ourselves captive. We're not keeping them from being blessed. We're keeping us from being blessed by God. See, there's this interconnectedness. So if you don't wanna be judged, we need to forgive, and we need to forgive if we want to experience full love. It's a great circle. It's all connected. Chew on that. We'll talk to you next time. And, and while you're chewing on it, if you got somebody you need to forgive, do it. Love you. Take care.